Been joined pitch side by Connell Rawlinson, who um, you've had more strenuous afternoons, I think, Connell. Yeah, but I think you know we've got to take credit for how we set up through the game. Um, obviously, no game's easy in this division, and, and, and we made that look quite easy and comfortable. Um, they're a good side; they've got some really good players. You know, they've signed and recruited well. I mean, we had to be on it. So I think you know, credit to the lads how we set up defensively. We kept on pinned in. We had large, you know, spells of possession at times. So. Uh, like you say, a good all-round professional performance that was today. Sides come here with all sorts of intent and ideas, don't they? So it's all about getting that first goal for your side. And fortunately today, it came very quickly and then followed by another one. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, first of all, you've got to give a, a shout out to the fans. You know, they came out in the thousands again today, and you know we knew what we needed to do. You know, we need to give them a show today. We need to put on a good performance with the ball and without the ball, um, and that's what we did. We started very strong, um, put our footprint on the game quite early. Like you say, getting an early goal does help. Um, but like you say, it's it's a, it's about us. It's not about anyone else. You know, we we look at ourselves and us as players when we you know step on the pitch. We've got to find out and solve the problems and. And I thought we did that perfectly today. It is all about scoring goals and football is all about celebrating goals. Yeah. I just love how you all celebrate as a team. And when Chico got that first one, just everybody, they couldn't have been more pleased for him. Absolutely. Look, you know, as footballers, we, we know it doesn't last forever. Um, and when you're playing in front of 16,000 fans here today, you know, it's a great opportunity and you've got to soak the atmosphere and you've got to soak the occasion in, but you've got to remain professional and, and keep your, your eye on the task. So, but today was, it was a special day for the club and I'm glad we could deliver for the fans. As one of the, uh, the senior pros, you, I guess your role a little bit changed in the first half because you had a, an experienced goalkeeper behind you for the first few minutes and then a youngster making his debut. Yeah, um, like you say, any player that plays for his football club is, is of a high quality. Um, whether they come off the bench, whether the gaffer rotates, you know, there's full trust in us as players to, to do the job. Um, I feel a bit for Sam. Um, obviously, he's been out for a little little while with an injury. He's come back, and you know, it, it it does get to me a little bit when the ball goes over and people are offside and and they let the play go on. And that, that's a prime example today of of what can happen. And in the second half as well, there was another occasion where they, they were clearly offside and it's, it's gone on. And Archie's come out and he's nearly took a took a whack as well. So. You know, it's, it's it's difficult for Sam, but um, you know, I'm sure it's just an impact injury, so he, he won't be off the pitch too long. You've uh, you've had three different goalkeepers, I think, in your your last couple of games. Obviously, Tiernan and then Sam back today, and now Archie. Yeah, but we, we work um, tremendously hard in training. Um, we do a lot of MV11, we do a lot of uh, phases of play, build up from the back, final third stuff. So that's that's so that every player knows that when they come into the into the setup, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, it's not just thrown in and you're playing off the cuff. Every lad knows um, what's expected, um, how we play. So, um, like you say, there, there was no problems with with Archie coming on from the pitch today. We see it day in day on training. He's an unbelievable goalkeeper. Um, I'll let him off putting his knee right in my backside at the end, like. But, uh, but no, yeah. So uh, he's done brilliant. I just said to him, then you know, it's it's not easy coming off the bench, especially as a goalkeeper. So that's off to him. Second half, clearly the the cop wanted a, a good view of some goals, and Macaulay obliged. Yeah, exactly. Listen, I've I've run out of words to describe uh, Macca. To be honest with you, he's uh, a sensation. He's been brilliant. Um, behind the scenes, he's ultra professional. He, he works his he works his you know, plums off really to to to, uh, to do what he has to do for the team about the ball. So it's um, like you say to have someone like that on your side. You know, if the ball drops from in the box, it's it's going to hit the back of the net. So you know, I'm I'm really made up for him to making the record today. We did push for him to break it. You know, we really did. I think I'm shouting at players, just give Macca the ball, just give Macca the ball. But I'm sure we've got games left now, and I'm sure he'll go on and, and break both the national league record and the record for Notts County. Yeah. He actually beat Wrexham to 100 league goals today. That's that's one thing you can have that they can't take away from you. Yeah, like you say, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you've got two phenomenal sides with phenomenal players competing at the very best level. Um, no doubt, you know, they're going to go down as two of the best non-league sides ever. Um, like you say, we need to concentrate on ourselves though. Um, we're not chasing anyone, we're just, every game we're putting in performances because if we put in performances like that, no doubt we'll, we'll win the remainder of our games. A lot has been made of your connection with the, the North Wales area again. Yeah. I guess you're really looking forward to going there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's. I've, I know a lot of Wrexham fans. You know, it's it's in my area. You know, I live probably about 25 minutes outside of Wrexham. So, you know, it's great for the league. It's it's great for both clubs. We're both pushing each other to to go that extra mile and and, and perform. You know, every game is like it's your last. So it's. Uh, it's great for the league and, like you say, it's, it's enjoyable to be a part of. I could say these things. I don't know if you can or not. I think you'll go there and win. 
We'll see. <laughs> um, like you say, we, you know, we're not looking at the Wrexham game yet. We've got two more big games before before that occasion. You know, we've got a quick turnaround for Tuesday now against Altrincham. Um, a weekend then, obviously, without a game, and then we've got Wheelstone at home. So, we, we, you know, we're just taking game by game. That's all we can do. You know, you look too far ahead and you take your eye off the ball, which is right in front of you. So we just take care of our business now and we'll see where we end up.